The following is a sponsored program paid for by Yaba TV. Welcome to our beautiful show, the Yaba TV show. I am your host, Sia Sia. Today, our topic is keys to successful living. I'm going to speak with Amani Livingston. She has so much insight about this topic, and she is a successful woman herself. She will tell you, based on first-hand knowledge, what it means to be successful, what do you do when you're successful, giving back to the community, all of that she is doing. She's with a company called O2 PCM Inc. doing business as O2 Engineering Project and Construction Management. We are in for a treat today because she has a lot to share with you. So touch your, tell your friends, tell everybody you know about our beautiful show. We'll be back in a moment. <music> Welcome back to our beautiful show, the Yaba TV show. I am your host, Sia Sia. We have an interesting show today. The topic is, what are the keys to successful living? Well, my guest on the show, she's very equipped to tell you all about that and so much more. I have with me my guest on the show, Harmony Oshomige Livingston. We are going to talk to her. She's a beautiful lady inside out and very intelligent, I must mm -hmm. tell you. So at this time, I welcome you to my show. Welcome. Thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to be here with you today, CSCA, and I'm just so grateful to be here. Um, thank you to not only you, CSCA, but also to Yaba and the entire t our team at Yaba TV. Um, I'm very fortunate and grateful and humbled to be here in your presence oh, today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So our audience watching the show, they are probably curious to know who is Harmony. Hmm. Yes, so um, my name again is Omni Livingston. Um, I am a civil structure and environmental engineer. I, um, I, have, I actually am I'm f originally from Nigeria, West Africa. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thankful for my mother, who is actually in heaven, re heaven rest in peace, who brought us here, mm -hmm. uh, myself and my siblings mm -hmm. um, here in Southern California. I came here when I was 14 years old. Um, I'm also the founder, president, and CEO of O2 EPCM Incorporated, mm -hmm. doing business as O2 Engineering Projects and Construction Management. Mm -hmm. I um, received my Bachelor of Science degree in Civil and Structural Engineering from California um, State University, Northridge, mm -hmm. and uh, my Master's in Science, um, uh, Master's of Science degree from uh, UCLA in um, civil and Go environmental Bruins. engineering. <laughs> Go Bruins! Yes! <laughs> Go Bruins! <laughs> yes, yes. So, having said that, our topic today is talking on how you can be successful or how to maintain a successful living. Can you give us tips on that? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think success is, you know, aiming for your goal and ensuring that you are, you are successful in whatever you set your mind to. Mm -hmm. um, I'll give you an example. Um, as a little girl uh, growing up in, in Nigeria, I've always uh, wanted to become an engineer. Mm -hmm. uh, so I followed my passion. Um, and uh, trust me, it, it was a lot of hard work uh, and dedication. Um, and and you know, success is not you know, it's not achieved alone. Um, success uh, for me uh, is is achieved uh, from um, people that are around me, um, from my family, of course, my parents. My mm -hmm. mother had a lot to do with it, mm -hmm. uh, in, in 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 staying um, having um, the the notion of. Of, of growing up in, a, in an environment where uh, your parents, um, uh, especially your mother, is a, a, a well-educated um, person. My, my, my mom actually mm -hmm. um, um, went to school in England mm. and um, ran hospitals in Nigeria growing up. So seeing a very successful woman and seeing how she thrived. That empowered you the most. 
Definitely. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, for me, um, being successful, especially in running a successful company like uh, O2 Engineering Projects and Construction Management, O2 EPCM, I have an A team behind me. Mm -hmm. um, having um, been surrounded by people that support you, um, not only your family, uh, but also your friends. And um, I even um, uh, give props to um, the haters, yes, the haters, mm. um, because... Unique, um, that's unique, I like that. Yeah, you need um, um, everyone, And that's right? one of the very strong, uh, should I say, etiquette, strong morale, strong role of being a successful person. Definitely. Yeah, there are different elements to it. It's not just money. Yes. You know? um, because um, your enemies shall become your footstool. I am a very spiritual person, mm. and um, I, I, I um, embrace everyone. I, I, I have a passion for helping people. Mm -hmm. um, very passionate about that, and very passionate about my work too as well. So, having said that, tell us the secret of your success. Yes. So, um, you know, I begin my my day and end my day with praying. Um, I put God first mm -hmm. in everything that I do. Mm. Um, believing in myself um, and, you know, helping others too as well. Um, I, I, I believe that um, you have to believe in yourself even when people doubt you. Um, and, and that really gives me the strength uh, to not only prove that you know, it's, it's, it's possible to succeed in whatever you set your mind to, um, and also surrounding yourself with those that not only believe in you, but also support you. You know, I do have, I've been, I'm very fortunate to have a very good um, you know, family support. I have friends, uh, I have an A-team. Uh, in my office mm. that um, are behind me 110%. All right. Um, so, yeah. Yes. Mm. Part of your job, management and construction, part of that is a male domineering career. How did you, as a woman, break through or you got a breakthrough in that industry? You know, um, I, I say, um, Having the, you know, for me, um, I've been through a lot of adversities uh, in my career as uh, not only a, uh, as an African-American woman, mm -hmm. uh, but also in a male dom domineering um, career or environment, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for me, I am really good with working with people. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't matter um, who it is. For me, I, I embrace people. Mm -hmm. um, the working hard and ensuring that things get done, um, ensuring that I know my stuff, you know, in terms of work or school. Um, I, 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 yeah, collaboration, um, mentorship, right, partnering, uh, those are all important. And, and most importantly, believing in yourself, because I did have, you know, true story, I, I had, um, a, a dean uh, at one time tell me, are you sure you want to become an engineer? Are you sure you don't want to change your major to Pan-African Studies? Uh, nothing wrong with Pan-African Studies, but uh, that's not my dream, right? My dream Go for what is, your dream is. is being an engineer, yes, right? Yes. And, and I told her, when I, before I left her office, I said, I promise you, I will get my One degree. One day you will see me and I will come and work as an engineer. Hand. That's it. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Hold your talk. We do need to take a quick break to acknowledge the people that make this show possible. When we come back, we will continue our dialogue with Harmony. She has so much to share with you. Don't go away. <laughs> Welcome back to our beautiful show, the Yaba TV show. I am your host, Yasir. So today, we are talking about keys to successful living. And my guest, Harmony, she is very well equipped to give you that information based on our personal experience. And she's doing quite well. So I'm going to go back to her. Harmony, 
again, welcome to my show. Thank you, CSN. My world. <laughs> I love it. It's my beautiful. little zoo. I love it. <laughs> so, um, I understand, based on the little I know about you reading your website, going through your website, you've a accomplished a whole lot. Oh, thank you. And you also give scholarship, correct? That's correct. Let's talk about that. Oh gosh, that's my passion. I mm -hmm. love helping people. Yes. Uh, my company in O2 EPCM, O2 Engineering Projects and Construction Management, mm -hmm. uh, we give yearly scholarships and internships uh, to the un underrepresented mm. um, students. Um, in engineering and construction, um, we are, um, there's not a lot of us. There's not a lot of people that look like me, right? Mm -hmm. And you, you and I. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things I told myself if I was to be in this um, uh, position that I'm in today, to be able to help others. Uh, so I have a great passion and, and giving out scholarships. Mm -hmm. uh, not only just scholarships, but diverse scholarships to diverse students that are minority in our community. Mm. That's so really commendable. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Yes. What other philanthropic work are you involved with? Oh, gosh. Um, so um, I, uh, you know, having the passion to help others, mm -hmm. um, I, I am involved with uh, several different organizations um, in my industry uh, as a board member, too, as well. Mm -hmm. and organizations, um, women organizations um, in, uh, from Nigeria, mm -hmm. um, and also my church. I attend First AME, First African Episcopal Fame. Ma fame I remember when C.C. Chip Murray was there. Yes. Remember that? Yes. I've been Ooh. there for 30 years. He was years. such an amazing man. He's awesome. Yes. He's awesome. He loves everything the motherland has to provide or produce. Yes. It's just an African man. Yes. Born in America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been fortunate to know him personally. Yes, and have, me uh, too. met with him yes. uh, several times uh -huh. and talked with him several times. And, um, you know, being uh, part of the Women's Missionary Society at my church at Fame mm -hmm. um, and um, just, you know, helping. Uh, what's one of the many things that we do, the uh, WMS, mm -hmm. is that we help uh, with, uh, for me, uh, my passion is uh, helping the orphans. Uh, with, um, um, you know, during Christmas time, they ask for, they get they have a list of things, and mm -hmm. I, I list. love wish lists. Mm -hmm. I love, um, you know, meeting those wish lists and just, you know, um, giving them gifts during the, the Christmas time. And, and just the, the work that w, WMS, uh, Women Missionary Society at my church does is, is just um, um, awesome. Mm -hmm. um, also, uh, one of the other things that we do, uh, some of the organizations I belong to, I told you about the Nigerian women, uh, um, Umwa Digbo is mm -hmm. one of them, mm -hmm. and Chao Shimili, Daughters of Southern California. What we do is we, um, you know, help the orphanage back in Nigeria too, mm. as well, and also the widows. Wow! Uh, so I'm having um, goosebumps. <laughs> That's really a commendable undertaking. Yes. It's needed. Very much so, and yeah. not just back home, but we also have here in the United States, mm -hmm. um, um, uh, Children's Hospital. Uh, we do give gifts during the holidays mm -hmm. and make donations to mm -hmm. them too as well. So, looking at the camera, what would you like for our audience, our viewers to take home today with this interview with CSEA, with me? Yes, yeah. so I am humble and um, very blessed and honored to be here today and to be where I am today. Um, I take nothing for granted, but I'm dedicated and committed to ensuring that people around me are taken care of. Um, I, I wanna see the good um, in what we're doing on a daily basis, uh, not only finding people jobs, 